As it progressed, uh, it's always been around vehicles and then the Winston Corporation was a huge, huge part of the company's uh, you know, success. And we were doing right much work for Reynolds Tobacco Company. They had asked us about a simulator. The simulator was a big break for us because it was so needed and it was so not wanted by the RJR people. What happened was I went down to uh, Florida for um, uh, a trade show and saw this simulator. Took a ride in it and uh, immediately thought about, wow, we could actually give race fans a ride in a race car. And uh, it's one of the first motion-based simulators. I mean, this is like the coolest thing in the world. It's like a, a roller coaster and a video game all in one. And this is back when, you know, we had Pong. But he, he, he loved it, you know, and, and so he pitched it. He said, oh, you know, this is the next hot thing. You gotta, you gotta do it, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. And they, they, ran and talked about it and they were like, hey, we're just not interested. You know, we're just not interested. I, I, I went home one day and told Dare, I said, look, I'm never gonna get this thing sold if we don't have one that we can actually take them for a ride. They've gotta be able to feel the same thing I felt. He was felt so strongly about it. And this is kind of how dad is, shows his character. He, he went and he, you know, refinanced the house. So yeah, I mean, he hocked their life to buy one of these simulators that they didn't want. And it was, it was just based on his belief that it was gonna work and uh, or that we could make it work, you know. So we invited the guys from Reynolds out to ride the simulator. The fans would come on and blow wind in your face and you know make you feel like you were going fast. And one of the guys that um, was in sports marketing at the time, well, he was influential and he was not a fan. He, he didn't believe in this thing at all. So we were trying to enhance the ride a little bit the day that they all showed up. So they all get in there, all these executives, and you can hear the tires squall at this one point. And then when the car's like spinning out, I had a soldering iron, I'd take a, a piece of rubber, you know, and burn the solder, you know, pull the smell of the rub, burning rubber into the simulator. <laughs> and Jeff, the guy that I was most concerned about, when I opened the door, he said, man, that is amazing. I could smell the rubber, you know, <laughs> it was like, I know. <laughs> and, and, you know, they bought it. They, they said, yeah, we'll take it. And it was so perfect because everybody in the, that was involved in racing at the time had show cars. Reynolds used their show cars to uh, promote, you know, more sales at especially convenience stores. So this thing was perfect for being able to take it to a, I mean, if you, you know, we're going to give you guys a ride. We're not just going to show you a car. So it replaced the show car program. What I'm getting at is more than anything is that Marty laid everything on the table to make that happen. And that takes guts. That's one of the reasons I think that people follow him and are willing to go, you know, the, the distance. He finds ways to get things done and uh, he's, you know, pretty straight up about it.